Hey there, brother and sisters in the Lord, uh, Facebook friends, YouTube viewers, and the world. Hey, uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Daryl Rundus. I'm the president and founder of Prayer Stop. And today we're going to talk about a post uh, we made back in June 29th, so not too less than a month ago. And we're talking about in the satanic book called The Book of the Law, written by self-proclaimed CEO of Satan, Alistair Crowley, there's only one law. Do you know what it is? And then we said to answer later tonight. Now, a lot of times you catch flack when you bring things up like this because the people think, well, you know, why would you ever want to know what's in the Satanic Bible, or in this case, what's called the Book of the Law? And those of you that don't know who Aleister Crowley was, he was called the most wicked man of his day. He was a pedophile, a drug addict, uh, and he, by his own admission, said he wasn't content to just serve Satan, but to be his CEO. Many people credit him for a lot of the wickedness we see in the world today, as well as, uh, you know, uh, the gay and lesbian type of agendas, as well as the, uh, you know, modern day music and a lot of the lyrics and music uh, that we listen to uh, that we probably shouldn't uh, here today. So, uh, but, you know, once again, we're here not to please men, but to please God. And part of our service to God is service to men. And a part of that service to others is to equip and to encourage and to educate people as to what the adversary, the enemy, who, like a roaring lion, prowls around looking to devour weak people. And so, uh, of course, we know, you know, knowing the Word of God and knowing what it stands for and also knowing what the enemy is up to and how he operates is power. And uh, knowledge isn't necessarily power, but the application of knowledge certainly is. And before you can apply knowledge, you have to have it. So, uh, you know, we particularly put this post up here thinking that, uh, you know, people would be encouraged by it. And, uh, you know, like here's Mark Krause who says, I guess it's spoon feeding time. I don't care in the sense that I don't read it and I'm a follower of Jesus. I know my Bible told me to run, to flee from evil and to be wise as a serpent. One doesn't need to read it to know evil. Also, God's will is not for one to read or study uh, or follow a false prophet. And, of course, we agree, you know, wholeheartedly. We weren't encouraging, never did even make mention of anybody reading this man's book. Um, but it is good to know thy enemy. And uh, it is important, even Jesus says, what, you know, what man goes to battle uh, without first scoping out what the enemy has uh, to make sure that he has enough troops to accomplish the task. And so uh, we're in a battle, a spiritual one, uh, and in, sadly it looks like uh, Satan is overcoming this country. And so part of the armament uh, above and beyond prayer and fasting and knowing the word is the application of it. And uh, so it's important uh, you know, that uh, people know these things. Like uh, we got Paula here, who I believe, um, you know, originally asked some, you know, decent questions, or at least I thought were sincere. It says, I don't read satanic books. Why would I, uh, why would this question even be asked of believers? So I'm hoping that wasn't sarcasm, but that was a, a genuine question. And I read God's word. Well, Paula, so do I. In fact, I've read it every day without fail for 12 straight years. So um, you know, and I'm not trumpeting my good deeds. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody else. I'm just saying, hey, I love the Word of God as much or more than uh, most Christians I've ever met. In fact, one of the most common things people will say about me that get to know me is, Daryl, wow, how did you get to know the Word, you know, so well? Uh, even as a new believer, people marveled at, uh, you know, how well I knew the Word. But that's just because I loved it, and God impressed it upon my heart, and I live by it. I, at least I do my best to. I'm not saying I'm perfect either. I obviously make mistakes. Um, but, you know, we think it's important, uh, you know, not to read the, you know, enemies, evil, wicked works, but, uh, no one recommends, uh, we've responded to satanic, you know, that they read satanic books. We're just pointing out the obvious contract between God's way and Satan's way. And for those that never saw this post, we'll put a link to it here in the video, but, um, you know, it is important to know that in the book of the law, Lester Crowley said there's only one law. You know, compare and contrast that to the fact God had ten laws, uh, but Satan uh, really only has one law, and that's do thou own will. Uh, compare that to, let's say, the Garden of Gethsemane with Jesus. Uh, he's in the garden. He's praying so profusely and under so much stress that he's literally sweating blood. 
Um, but even in the midst of saying, Lord, if there's any other way, God, Father, if there's any other way, take this cup from me and let it pass from me. But not my will, but thy will be done. Uh, once again, in the Lord's Prayer, we hear, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So uh, we felt it was important that people know uh, the fastest way to separate yourself from God, to really serve the enemy, uh, whether you realize you're doing it or not, is to get outside of God's will and begin to do your own. See, Satan knew the fastest path to get people away from God is to get them focused on themselves. Because he knows in our sin nature, the first sin we all commit before we commit any other sin is to covet. And one of the things uh, that we covet is our own self-preservation, our own wants, desires, or needs. Uh, you know, bigger, better, faster, stronger, you know, the better job, the more money, the bigger house, and so on. Uh, and so he's essentially saying here that the end justifies the means and to covet and to do your own will. Do what you want. Don't worry about what God's word says. And so it is important that Christians arm themselves with the truth. Uh, Jesus is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. And it's also important that they know how the enemy attacks and what he does to deceive, distract, uh, to kill, steal, and destroy the lives of those who follow Jesus, to get them sidetracked. In fact, if uh, you know if he can't get your soul, he's going to get you sidetracked. That's the way he works. And so uh, don't get sidetracked. Don't do your own will. Do the will of God. And please know, once again, we're here to help. We're here to pray for you, to minister to you, to correct, rebuke, and instruct with all long-suffering and careful instructions. So uh, please don't take these posts as uh, we're promoting Satanism um, <laughs> or, or uh, Lester Crowley or even the Book of the Law, but just trying to empower and equip people to to uh, be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks about the hope that's within them and to have a better understanding of why the people of the world act the way they do. They've been indoctrinated uh, in a lot of different ways with uh, things like do thou own will. I mean, we see it all throughout our culture. Think about Burger King's advertising. Have it your way at Burger King, right? Nike, just do it. So over and over, if you start to you know look at the commercials, you look at the media, you look at the propaganda that is permeating our culture, uh, you'll see that it's all self-centered. You know, it's you can be bigger, you can be stronger, you can be faster, you can be more beautiful. Buy our products, you know, or do our our method, and you're going to have a bigger, better, stronger, more fun you know, lifestyle, um, you know, drink this beer and good looking women will hang out with you. I, the, the list goes on and on and on. And it all comes back to this basic principle of Satan to get people to do their own will. So, Hey, until next time, this is Daryl Rundus saying, we thank God for you.